there's an interesting twist to this matter. Uh, the last date, uh, I was served some court processes, which have, uh, have actually responded to, you know, the light, and uh, we discover a lot of discrepancy in the documents displayed, alleged, and relied upon by the defendants in this matter. Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for tuning in and welcome back. And uh, I just want to say uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're watching Mr. J from. It warms my heart to know that you're always stopping by and, you know, we, we engage in the comment section. This vlog, I want us to, to talk about uh, the whole situation of a very dark man in Nigeria and uh, Prophet fake prophet jeremiah Omoto for Feini. i hope i'm pronouncing his name right but before we do get started please if you're not done it man hey do think about being part of the channel you feel me hit that subscribe button smash the like and then i will be very very happy to have you join me engage me with in the comment section i want us to share ideas talk and communicate positive or negative it's okay i want you to leave your comment i mean so ladies and gentlemen, um, just a few hours after um, uh, Nigeria's authority, Food and Drug Authority came out, uh, NAFTAC, and they published a statement categorically saying that um, this man of God, uh, Jeremiah Omoto Fafein, is, is actually a fraud and a scam and, and, and a liar. Because uh, if you remember, in the video when this man was advertising, first of all, he has been controversial online with the funny, funny type of videos that he posts online just to sell things. We're talking about the miracle soap, the miracle water, the water from River Jordan, uh, miracle 1000 Naira, and so on and so forth. And uh, after uh, NAFTA came out and publicized, based on what a uh, very dark man did, um, they made sure that every religious organization should understand that the selling of anything you claim to have healing properties, we will come after you. And boy, has this boy opened up, <laughs> he has opened up a kind of worms because... After that, so many fake pastors, so many charlatans, so many men of God who engaged in such dubious and such buffoonery in the name of, you know, selling anointed oil, selling this, selling that, selling stickers, and so on and so forth. They started coming after this brother. There is another pastor. He, first of all, looks like a criminal to me, and uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I want you to watch this video and let me know. He was actually threatening a uh, very dark man, and uh, I want you to watch this video. Watch this video. Very dark man is making a, a great mistake. There are people God will connect you to, sir. They will not listen to your mistake. Very dark man is a Satan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are the kind of people that some of you guys have been worshipping and calling your everything. And uh, as I watched this video of this so-called man of God saying that a um, very dark man is, is making a big mistake and this man is the devil. And I see his congregation responding. I don't really get it. It's like, what is it that they have used of these people that... We can clearly see what is wrong and, and we can see the very dark man is doing a very good job for any person who genuinely Knows exactly the mess that these people are going through But you know some of you guys will come on and say Mr. J um, Touch no my anointing to let God do the judging. No ladies and gentlemen These people for far too long they have been benefiting Some of them even came online a while back bragging how they own three jets and say that they bought these jets during COVID season. It's like it's, it's a show of wealth. It's, 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 it's a business now. Religion, especially this Pentecostal evangelic, evangelism, is a business in Africa. And we need to stop this nonsense because so many youths of Africa, their minds are, are, are encaged 
in this whole philosophy that you need to pray for things to happen rather than going out there and putting the work out here in the west we do believe in putting in work we do not believe in you know praying giving money for for things to happen no we make things happen now that being said man do you know that uh, this same pastor went through his lawyer and claimed that because I did drop a video of a very dark man. He he ordered some 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 samples of this man's product to go and try and see if they really do have healing properties. And of course they didn't. Now um, after that came out, his only reply to the whole issue is a uh, very dark man lied about the order or the receipt. Now, the fact that this man didn't try to say if the properties, the healing properties in his products are real, but he chose to go after the other and the receipt. We all know that he's going to fail. And for all the money that he has made on these products that he has sold, there are videos where he's claiming that his products, his miracle soap has naf that number, which is kind of like an abuse to the whole NAFDAQ organization and for him to come out and try to to backpedal and say all these things without saying that yes his products are fake or his products do not have any healing powers do you guys know that uh, if it was in, 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 in a western country this man would have been in jail already for selling products without authorized license number, without a registered uh, market number. That is criminal. This is a fraud at its biggest, biggest face. But because we know that we are in Africa, but because we know that this is Nigeria and some of these charlatans do have money which they, they got from their brainless audiences because I don't see how I have never ever been this gullible in my life I am not a gullible person I have like I have come across pastors who have tried up and down but they have failed woefully so I would I would say this please you need to be careful what type of churches you go through you need to be careful what type of churches you attend and you need to be careful who you call man of God to you because some of these folks many of them are fake and you see this declaration by NAFDAQ this press release it is going to affect a whole lot of people now he sued very dark man for 1 billion very dark man has countersued him for 2 billion and let me tell you Africa we are standing behind this very dark man my brother, go ahead, ensure that this man pays everything. And I hope that NAFTA goes in and charge this man and tax him for everything that he has sold so far. Because for so too long, man, very, very, it's crazy how in Africa any con just comes up from anywhere and claims that they are, you know, a prophet or they are spiritual, this and that. I mean, we now understand why Rwanda actually shut down 8,000 churches and I do pray that this comes into Nigeria as a warning shot. And for that other fake charlatan, that Yahoo boy who said, um, very dark man made a mistake and hey, I will end this vlog by saying this. What is your opinion? I want to hear from you. What do you think about very dark man's activities in Nigeria? And once again i said it in, in the other vlog this brother's life might be in danger i think that he needs to be protected because this man has opened a can of worm and i do see a uh, dr abdel damina rejoicing that at least somebody is taking these folks up to their words that is my time you stay blessed man. hey i hope you did not forget to be part of the family stay blessed peace